Today I'm going to show you what I love to fix for a quick, easy way to break my fast. It's actually lunch time, but I like to have kind of a breakfast type thing. And it's super easy, super healthy. So I'm just going to show you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put my eggs together, greens, spinach, I have onion, I have a bell pepper, and I have these are the chicken, sausage, apple, and gouda that I love to get that. So I think it's really important to make sure you have ingredients on hand. So I make sure I have these ingredients on hand so that when it's time to eat, I can do this and do it quick and not have to think about it. So sometimes I like to have my vegetables already cut up, but if I don't, then I can cut them up. So I just slice everything up, including the sausage. And I love, I love bell peppers, so especially orange and red. And this might be a little much to normally add, but number one, I'm hungry. <laughs> number two, we're leaving town, so I wanna use all this up. So I'm just going to. I'm not gonna use all the onion because tonight for dinner, we're having hamburgers. And so I'll use part of the onion for my hamburgers tonight. I usually try to use up stuff if I know I'm going out of town. So you see, I've got my chicken sausage cut up, my bell peppers, and my onions. I'm gonna go ahead and crack my eggs. And I like to use these vital pasture raised. You know, if I can get it from the farmer's market, that's where I really like to have like fresh eggs. The dream of mine would be to have my own chicken so I could get eggs. But I don't know if I really would want to do that. I think it'd be cool though. And I'm gonna do three eggs, and that may seem like a lot to you, but that's what I like to eat, and that's what I'm gonna do. Some people might do one egg and two egg whites. I like the yolk, it's good for my brain, so I like it. Got that done. Now, I always use, um, pretty much most of the time I use avocado oil, and the reason I use avocado oil is because it has a higher heat point. So I'm going to just put all this in. Now look, <laughs> I say this all the time, I'm not a cook, I'm not. Um, so if I don't do this, how do you think it should be done? Forgive me please. So I'm just gonna get that all burnt. and. Then I'm going to add my spinach and let it wilt a little bit, and then I'll add my eggs. Um, and I love to keep spinach on hand, and obviously I won't be able to use all this up. But tonight, as a side with our hamburgers, I'm going to make spinach, and so what I do is I cut up some of the onion, some garlic, I saute that, and then I throw the spinach in there and put just some seasoning on it. And it's a great side and I can use that spinach up because it wilts down pretty good. So tonight we're gonna have hamburgers and I'll do it without the bun. We're gonna do sweet potatoes. Um, I like my sweet potatoes diced up and roasted. My husband likes his sweet potato whole and roasted. So. That's fine. And then as it, we'll have for a green, we're going to have um, the spinach. We could, might even, instead of cooking the spinach, I could, and I might do this tonight, um, just make a salad with the spinach. I don't add too much because at the end I add my seasoning, goat cheese. I don't get out a lot, but I, I do like to add stuff. So the importance of making your meal 
is you want to think of making a balanced meal, right? To have fats, protein, greens or carbs, and fiber. Fiber is important. It keeps us full. But the protein is really important too to keep us full. All these things. I mean, to eliminate one of those would not be a good thing to do. I know some people are on lower carb, and I probably eat lower carb uh, than some people um, because I feel better that way. But you know, that's an all all that is an individual. So, and I have to say, out this is kind of funny because my husband thinks I eat so much. He's like, three eggs, that's a lot. And then when I look at this, I'm like, ooh, that is a lot of food. But I, you know, I don't have a large eating window. I probably, uh, I practice intermittent fasting, and I probably, like today, it's a lot later than normally I would break my fast. And I'm hungry. I'm ready. I need some fuel with this body. And so, I don't care. This is what I want to eat. That's what I'm going to eat. So now I'm just going to put a little bit of the goat cheese in here, just so it can melt. Okay. I love goat cheese. It's ready. See how quick and easy that was? So now I've got it ready. And I think even to get a little bit more fiber, I'm going to put a little bit in it over here. Put it on here where it's not wilted. Spinach is just good for you. <laughs> right? No, oh, is that too much? I don't care. I don't care if it is. Um, I love everything but the bagel seasoning. Oh, love it. This is lunch. Oh my gosh, does that not look delicious? It looks so good to me. I guess I'm hungry. I got this in my water. I'm actually gonna go sit down. Because I do think it's important to sit down with your meal and take that time not to scroll on your phone, not to watch TV, but to take a break, right? And enjoy your food. Focus on swallowing it, chewing it, all the things that we need to do. Sometimes we're in such a hurry all day long and I am the world's worst at that sometimes. But slowing down for a second and enjoying your food so that your body actually knows that you ate. Look, it's about nourishing your body and making yourself feel the best. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have anything you want me to record, do a video on, please let me know. I'm always looking for more content ideas and everything else. Have an awesome day.